Today we are going to talk about decisions and big data. We are going to have two leaders, traditional leader, my car and the technological leader. What is a good decision? A good decision is to take a soup with a spoon. What is a bad decision? For example, to take a soup with a fork. Yes, but that's easy. He said, if you don't know if it's better to take a soup with a spoon or with a fork, by observing millions of people taking a soup with a spoon, you will understand what is the best decision, which is to use the spoon. But this is not about having a soup with a spoon. This is about business. For example, if you sell chairs or stool, you don't know where the disruption is coming from. Maybe the disruption is coming from a very different chair and you don't know. So you need a new approach to business. Imagine you have two books to sell, a white book and a green book, but you don't know which book to sell. The client likes the green book, but he goes to the shop and he finds the white book. Do you think the client will be happy? No. No, why? Oh, yes, green book. Big data will help you understand that the client wants to have a green book. Is that easy? Not at all. You need to make lots of acrobatics. To understand your customer, you need good data. To have good data, you need three things. The modern leader has three priorities. The first one is to have the best technology, the best IT architecture to have access to all the data. The second one is to use design thinking, so to be customer-centric and to know which data to use to have the best insight about the customer. And the third one is, of course, about the people. It's to train the traditional employee, but also to empower the young employee. And, of course, cross-mentoring them, so to put together those who have experience with those who have ideas. The traditional leader can become a modern leader. He has to give up the comfort zone. He has to stop being hierarchical and has to focus more on a flat organization. It's not everything about seniority, but trust, young, talent. The traditional leader needs to learn new things, but also to unlearn old things, start trusting new technology. And the traditional leader needs flexibility. Good, but I was referring to mental flexibility. And if you like this, give us a like.